Ah, uh, it's the weekend. That means it's time to celebrate by making even less meals than I would on a weekday. Oh, well, yes, that is a celebration. There are two reasons why I make less meals. Number one is because people wake up later on the weekend, so we'll have a later breakfast, which means we won't be as hungry when it comes around lunchtime, so we just kind of maybe snack or skip a meal. And number two, those meals that I do get to make are actually going to be longer to make, and that means they're usually going to taste better. So some of the things that might take a while, maybe uh, baby back ribs or a lasagna might be something I would make on a weekend, or pizza, which I can't really make on the weekdays, or even um, tonight's dish, which is going to be chicken empanadas, a dish we first learned when I was in Argentina learned about that's when we first ate empanadas and now I have found a recipe that I can use here in the States that we find pretty good but first it's time for breakfast and many times time for breakfast means oh you know I might make eggs benedict or a nice egg sausage scramble um, that's something the kids would really enjoy or you know pancakes waffles sometimes on occasion those happen too or french toast but today, instead, I'm going to do what we do very often. That's going to be a Chinese-style breakfast where I make a soy milk. And that is a very tasty treat in the morning soy milk, along with yotiao, which is a wonderful Chinese donut that you may never have seen before. So let's go ahead and start making our breakfast. And to make our hot soy milk, I take the soy milk beans that we soaked overnight, put the meal mat, we're going to add some water to the fill line and plug it in and that's all it takes. Put the water at the fill line, now we're going to put the lid on with the grinding cylinder in place. Select soy milk, turn it on. Now it's going to start heating up and that's going to take until about, oh, 25, 35 minutes finished. So here's a Chinese donut, or yo tiao, as we commonly call it. And we're just going to heat it up at 300 degrees for about, well, I don't know, 5, 10 minutes or so until it's nice and hot and crispy and ready to be put into the soy milk. Here you can see what the yo tiao, or the Chinese donut, looks like inside. You can see it's nice and airy. It's nice crispy coating as well. And it gets very crispy if you keep it in the oven for long enough. And it's very tasty when you put it in soy milk and have the soy milk all soaked inside. I personally love it. So another thing I like to have with my yotel are the Chinese pickled vegetables. It's actually a pickled radish. It's not sour like you get with pickles in America. Not very vinegary. Actually, it's very tasty and crunchy. Even plain right out of the bag. But flavor gets improved. You get a little hot sauce to it. It's got a little bit of hot sauce, especially the oil part. And it's going to improve the flavor. Mm. Crunchy and spicy. Very good. But since the kids aren't into a Chinese breakfast like Happy Healthy Wife and I are, I've got this skillet here, this electric skillet. It's heated up on both sides, top and bottom, that we're going to use to cook eggs and probably some sausage. So we're going to start with the sausage that my daughter likes. Jimmy Dean's turkey sausage. You just heat up. We don't usually have bagels, but since we have some bagels left over from yesterday, that means the kids will have some kind of good bread that they like to eat too. So the yotiao is crispy. Hear that crisp? And now it's going to go into soy milk. That's the way I like it. Common practice in China. See, it's all soaked up. Also, very tasty. A little too hot for me. I don't like my food's too hot, though. Mmm. <clears throat> Believe it or not, even though the yolk count was frozen, being the fresh soy milk, that is just as good as what you got in China. Maybe I forget how good China is, but... Having fresh yota isn't the important thing. The important thing was that it's crispy. That is very good. Mm. And 
the pickled vegetables are good too. Nice balance. And something today, just special today. Happy Healthy Wife made a version of Jamie Guad's app. If you don't know what that is, well, maybe I'll link a video or something. Uh, it's basically an egg, the same yo egg wrapped into a bread. I usually have a sauce, so I'm going to add just the hot sauce. Yeah, the kids don't like this kind of breakfast, so that's what the sausage here is for. They had sausage and the bagels. Bagels from yesterday left over. Yeah, but they do eat the yotia and the scrambled egg. Let's have a taste of this one. The crunch from the yo towel is very nice. You got the egg flavoring like they have around to the pancake, which is good. And the hot sauce, which adds that spice. Not as good as what we've gotten in China, but it's still very good. And this is what I'll be eating for breakfast. The soy milk with yo towel and a Jimmy Guoza knockoff, which is actually pretty good. Not as good as China, but it's still really good. Now that I have finished that Jimmy Guoza, it was very good. Not authentic. But it was a very good substitution, something that's not easy to have in the States. Uh, soy milk wise, maybe you've had soy milk hot, maybe not. But if you've ever had soy milk, you made it on your own. You might realize that there is no better soy milk that you can buy in the store than just the fresh blended soy milk. And yeah, that is very good. A very nice, hot, warm soy milk. If you've never had a hot warm soda before, then you're missing out. I'll see you at dinner when we end up making some Argentinian food. Or at least that's where we had it, called empanadas. And now that we have finished eating breakfast and the dishes are all cleaned up, it's time to start on dinner. What? Why am I starting dinner so early? Well, Today, there's a special reason, because we're making empanadas. And in this case, we can actually make those empanadas. Um, the filling itself has to be done early, or it can be done the night before even. So since the filling should be done first and can rest a well, while, since I'm already downstairs and the kitchen's all ready to go, might as well just make those empanada fillings right now. So often, actually, that was on the weekends when I'm starting to get dinner ready. I get a little hungry. Sometimes I might have a snack on almonds. I have those in the cabinet. So I just have leftover breakfast like this sausage. We'll eat some of the bagels for breakfast. Or possibly I might go for one of our favorite bars. Little bars. These are pretty good. Not really one of them right now. More of other breakfast leftover. Pickled vegetables. Those are pretty good. Or sometimes I might like. This time we have Oreos in the cabinet. Why do we have them? Don't usually have them because the doctor is making a chocolatey dessert and add some Oreos in it. I think I'll have a little bit of the uh, favorite bagel, which is a sesame seed bagel. Nice and toasted. I'll finish the vegetable. No nuts today. I might have a little more of the bread when I'm making empanadas, or I might even Snake some of the empanada mixtures or making empanadas or some of the cheese, you know. A little steak, make sure the food is flavorful and good. But otherwise, it's a little snack while I'm preparing dinner. And now I'm going to make the empanadas for dinner. But you're going to see that because... And now they're done. So I'm probably eat about four or five of these or so. Because these are so good, these empanadas. I like to have them with salsa. Usually it's paste picante sauce, but last night... I made some pico de gallo fresh, so we're gonna use that today, as well as some sour cream. Usually I don't have sour cream on hand, but because Happy Healthy Daughter wanted to make something that uses sour cream, we got a big tub of it now. We use some salsa and some sour cream to go onto the empanada. You know, it's probably easier if I actually um, put it straight on. Put on some salsa. You'll excuse me with the use of my hands. Look at that, the sour cream helped the salsa down. So I'm gonna try this part with the sour cream and salsa after we go with just the plain empanada done with the cheese chicken filling. Let's try it. Mmm. 
Mm. So that bite had a lot of the pastry. If you look at it, pastry there is very flaky, very good pastry. Well, now let's get to the one that has more filling in it, and we'll see how good that one is. Mmm. 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 Oh, my, that is, oh, that is so tasty. Very full of filling. The sour cream on it has a nice creamy texture in addition to the cheese. Fresh salsa on there, tomatoes, onions, and peppers. Really elevates the flavor, adds a nice flavor to it. The inside stuffing tastes very good. So, I'm going to enjoy my weekend meal. Something I can sit down to. Let's try this last bite and see how good it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks so good. So if you enjoyed seeing what I eat on the weekend, maybe you want to watch this video right here, which will show you what I eat on a weekday.